Thank you, Dr. Santos. So, uh, on behalf of my uh, co-authors, uh, Edison Sio, Dr. Enrico Manzano, and Ms. Alaysa Marillanes, uh, I would like to present to you the results of our study, electrochemical capacity studies of sodium uh, pitoluene sulfonate to polyperol film electrodes. So what is our uh, motivation in doing this uh, study? So uh, we all know that, uh, we, I'm sure you have noticed that for the past several months, our Meralco B have <laughs> increased. In fact, uh, I, I, was, uh, I, I also noticed just uh, this month, no? that I, I compared my, uh, my energy consumption no? uh, from last year, same, same month last year, almost the same, but, but in terms of how many pesos, so it's really more expensive now per kilowatt hour. Uh, and of course, with what's happening in uh, in Europe, in Ukraine, no, uh, prices of oil has uh, gone up. And up to now, no, uh, based on 2021 uh, uh, results, 82% no, of our energy consumption worldwide is still based on uh, no, fossil fuels. And only 11.4% is being supplied by sustainable sources. Okay? And uh, every year, no, we have a growth in uh, our energy needs, so global primary energy need. Uh, in 2021, uh, reports uh, show that we had a 5.8% global increase in energy okay, needs. And uh, of course, if there's an increase in the energy need, there's a, okay, um, a, a accompanying increase in carbon emissions. So approximately the same then, 5.7% no? increase in carbon emissions Okay. So um so in uh looking for no for uh alternative energy sources or or um uh devices or equipment no being run on ano, uh, uh other ways so in which you can power your devices so uh as much as possible no we try to look for uh, sources, energy sources that is not based on fossil fuels. Supercapacitors okay, is uh, one, no? one um, ideal no? energy storage device okay? which has many, no? many applications from, of course, no? uh, energy source for, uh, for energy storage for, for large no? uh, grids, uh, both large and micro grids. For automotive, so cars, no, yung mga Tesla cars, no, so they're ano, okay, uh, hybrid cars, okay, and electric trains, so may mga electric trains na, and uh, most of them are are ano, powered by supercapacitors, and of course, unmanned vehicles, which can be used in aerospace, defense, uh, wearable biosensors, no, so you only need a uh, okay, small supercapacitor, okay, for that, okay, so th this is actually the, no, the our our um our objective no to to be able to to uh to design no and fabricate no supercapacitors for for small consumer electronic products and medical devices so no? kasi okay the concept is it has to be wearable it has to be light and uh, flexible okay so what are the okay the gaps no currently in ano okay when it comes to uh storage studies in storage devices research in uh, energy storage devices so um so the current no commercially available uh, supercapacitors and capacitors they still have low uh, energy density okay and of course you have to think of more affordable no so uh, supercapacitors and suitable electrolytes uh the the plot actually on the left no uh, gives you um an overview of uh, the performance of um, electrolytic capacitors versus uh, batteries. No, batteries they can store a large amount of energy. Okay, and so if they have high energy density, uh, the the units there are in uh, what hour per kilogram. However, no, their power density is low, and they can only supply as a uh, uh, um, small amount of energy per per second yung pag ganon, no? And like uh, capacitors, no? Capacitors, you can discharge a large amount of energy per per second. However, their energy density naman, the amount of energy they can ano, store, uh, is small. 
smaller than that of battery. So supercapacitors they they lie in the middle, no? Okay, so it's a good um good balance between uh, batteries and the uh, capacitors because of their higher no okay, higher energy density closer to to batteries and higher also uh, power power density but uh you know looking forward also no okay uh, we want no we want the okay, yung, yung may red na parang ano doon no <laughs> uh highlight uh, red uh, area uh, higher pa, higher the energy, higher energy densities. So for ano, for our our study, okay, the one that we will report uh today is um as um fabrication uh and characterization of um electrodes, so polymer conducting polymer based uh electrodes uh with the um, possible no application for uh, supercapacitor uh, storage devices so in uh, this study okay we synthesized our uh, we made no through our our uh, material our films okay via electrochemical deposition okay uh, in aqueous solution con containing a uh, pyrrole monomer uh, 0.10 molar of pyrrole monomer and uh, 0.12 uh, molar of sodium para toluene sulfonate the sodium para toluene sulfonate uh, it acts as our electrolyte okay to make our solution conductive as well as our topan okay so what did we vary okay in this uh okay study we varied the the uh, current okay that we applied so this const uh, uh constant yung no, no current density but no we varied the the okay, the duty cycle no so it's a uh, cold pulsed current no? yung source so we varied the duty cycle from 10 30 50 70 and 100 which is uh, basically uh, dc current and uh, how do we how did we characterize our uh, film electrodes so we use a uh, scanning electron microscopy to determine surface morphology, film thickness, no, and uh, energy dispersive spectroscopy to uh to determine the elemental composition of the surface on the surface of the film. Okay. So to the to uh, study the uh, capacity properties, capacitance properties of uh, the films. So we we uh, use cyclic voltammetry, okay, measured its uh, C V plots. From the CV plots, you can actually uh, calculate, determine the the capacitance no, from the area and the curve. Uh, compute for the specific capacitance, so capacitance so meaning farad per gram or farad per square uh, CF. Okay, so I just uh, summarize no our uh, the um, important parts no of our uh, results. So these are. Uh, the okay, the SEM uh, micrographs uh, of the five no five samples grown at different duty cycles ten percent yung sa figure A B at thirty percent C at fifty percent D is seventy percent then uh the SEM uh, shown in uh, figure E there as uh, for the film grown at one hundred percent duty cycle. So ABC, you know, uh, films ABC, um, and um, actually also D, no, they show globular uh, structures, so it's typical uh, of uh, conducting polymers. Uh, uh, but we notice now for that 100%, the film grown at 100% due to cycle, it's more flaky, yung ganyang structure, and in the in the more porous, no, more porous siya. Uh, for ano the for uh, the EDS uh, results no uh, you are able to detect uh, the sodium on the okay, the surface and so forth so this uh shows um effective no doping of the conducting polymer with uh NAPTS uh, and then for uh the a cyclic voltammetry characterization. Uh, I we present here the okay, consolidated CV plots 
of the five for the five films. Okay, grown at 10, again, 30, 50, 70, and 100 percent uh, duty cycle. So they are uh, okay, um, quasi rectangular. So you cannot actually say it's near the, no, no. of course, ideally you want it to be a rectangular, no? but this is uh, an electrochemical uh, okay, uh, system. So you expect it to be quasi, no? quasi rectangular. So uh, in calculating for the capacitance, so uh, we just took um, a voltage window with voltage window from um, I'm not mistaken that is from point uh, no no point three to two point uh, seven or point eight. Okay, so from there we calculated the the gravimetric capacitance in farad per grams, the aerial capacitance in farad per square centimeters okay so from the ano no from the okay from the tabulated no results you can already see that uh, the film electrode um uh, synthesized at 100% duty cycle uh showed the highest no give the highest uh gravimetric uh, capacitance so it is uh, okay um it is correlated of course, on the no, no, the okay, porosity okay, of the the um, the film electrodes as, as shown in in its the SEM no? SEM micrograph uh, E there uh, for one hundred percent duty cycle. So compared to the other no the other films, the um, the one uh, grown at one hundred percent duty cycle flaky kasha and more porous. So there's uh um okay, it showed the highest no highest capacitance okay and uh, because uh, there's better no ion diffusion uh, across the the material okay and uh, what else did we do so we also tried no um um testing no, or that Determine, deter, we try testing and uh, measuring the CV plot uh, of the film no, at different um, at different uh, scan rates. So the plot on the upper right uh, shows you the the CV okay, CV curves for the polymer that was synthesized at one hundred percent duty cycle. Kasi siya yung maganda nga, no? mataas yung kanyang uh, specific capacitance. So we what we did also is uh, tried no? to um, to measure the CV plots at different uh, scan rates. So so one hand, yung, oh, yung tatlo, no? 100 millivolt per second, so sumabilis siya. No? 75 millivolt per second and then at 25 millivolt per second. So mas matagal yung 25 millivolt per second. So bagal yung charging niya. Okay, and uh, consistent no with the uh, with, with other published results no so the 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 measured uh, specific capacitance at 25 millivolt per second scan rate is higher no than those uh, measured no, or calculated uh, at higher scan rates and then um, we also no uh, did the cycle life test for the the same no the same uh, film uh, the polymer conducting polymer film uh, grow on one hundred percent duty cycle so um, and uh, determined no how how the capacitance how its capacitance will uh, change you know over time okay so over uh, hundred cycles. So this is over hundred cycles now. So or to ideally, of course, you you charge discharge your device more than hundred times. No? So but over hundred times, though the the film uh, grown at one hundred percent duty cycle uh, really did not deteriorate much no? as compared to the to the other no to the other films grown at 70% duty cycle and at 50% duty cycle. So for the other films, so medyo nag-deteriorate sila, uh, nag-decrease uh, to 
90% na lang yung ano nila yung uh, specific capacitance after 100 cycles but uh, for the for the film grown at 100% to the cycle uh, it's relatively very stable yung yung capacitance niya after 100 uh, cycles um so um in ano no in uh, summary so uh, we were able to to uh, prepare uh, highly stable stable uh, film electrodes uh, that could have a possible application no, as um, electrodes for supercapacitor devices. So for the film that was grown at 100% UV cycle, so the capacitance that we were able to measure uh, reached up to 276 Farad per, per gram at a scan rate of uh, 25 millivolt per per second okay and we were we were also able to observe that the microstructure of the film affects no the the super cap the capacitance uh, properties uh, the porous uh, porous structure of the film um, fabricated at 100 percent duty cycle Okay, performed well, better than the others. So, mas, mas ano kasi siya, mas porous, flaky, and not, uh, okay. and, um, not, uh, not, it's not the same as the others na globular and um, a dense yung structure niya. Okay. And then, uh, what else? So, we also observed that for the same film, the 100% to decide uh, the film, um, uh, Synthesized at 100% duty cycle, it retained its capacitance even after 100 uh, cycles of charge discharge. So, um, so that's uh, all. So thank you very much for uh, listening. So I'm ready to answer. Thank you, Dr. Carla, for your presentation again. Uh, again, I would like to thank you for... Uh, Publishing your results in the Philippine Journal of Material Science and Nanotechnology. Your results are very good, very nice, excellent done because this is already the direction of batteries and the energy. We are already in the electric vehicle era, and uh, if this will uh, you know work, uh, you will contribute a lot to the battery. Uh, research or the development of batteries that will be useful for the new uh, technologies to come. I have a question in the figure, figure one, and uh, which among the SEM in figure one is uh, the best uh, capacitor? What do you think? Mm, okay, so based on uh, if we will just base on on the uh measured no measured mm -hmm. capacitance, so the film shown in figure E, in figure E. That's so the best. That's the so that's the film that showed the highest capacitance in two hundred seven farad per gram. So mm -hmm. if you'll notice, uh. Its structure is different, really, compared to the others, no? Mm -hmm. So, flaky yung structure niya, while mm -hmm. for the others, it's globular, para siyang, mm -hmm. you know, for the flower, broccoli, gano'n. But the one in... Figure e, 2, no? figure 2 ata to, eh. Asa yung figure, figure, figure 1? Ah, yung figure 1, ah, sorry. Uh, figure 1, figure 1. So, figure, figure. 1, uh, sorry, I did not put it in my, ano, no? My uh, PowerPoint presentation. Uh, in it's... figure 1, the same, the same, uh, okay, the same sequence of uh, uh both figure so, is uh, ito lang kasi is yung cross sectional view, uh, is the cross sectional view, and the uh, the one shown in figure one in the mm, paper is mm -hmm. the no, no, the sur yung, surface. So the best is one e. Yes, yes. Okay. Figure one e. Figure and one e. Two e. In cross sectional two e. Two e. You know why I'm asking? Because I would like to ask I would like to ask permission 
if we can uh, feature it in the front page of the Philippine Journal of Material Science. Uh, of course, of course. Okay. And also in honor of uh, Mr. Ray Korea, I think he is still alive when. Uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. When. Uh, when this one is. Uh, okay. He was the one. Who... So uh, I'm asking permission to allow us to feature this in honor of Mr. Ray Korea. Ray Korea. Yes, of course. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Doctor Harlan. Are there any questions from the audience? You can chat your questions in the chat box. May yes. I ask? Oh, there's a question from the theoretical physicist. <laughs> uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Doctor Carla, I have a a practical. Uh, issue about yung lithium batteries which is the basis of our electronic vehicles right now no? we have heard so much promise from many uh, agencies uh, that are sources of these uh, electric vehicles uh, after those um, several years of testing um, i have heard many complaints against it because they say it's too heavy and uh, if you look it, it, the view that it is uh, clean is actually a myopic view when you're looking close to the car, but you're not, you're not considering how the batteries are actually manufactured and how they are disposed. If you look from afar, you zoom out of this uh, electric vehicle, you will find out it's more devastating to the environment. Is this correct? And how does your product uh, address, if it does, this uh, problem of electric vehicles? And related uh, technologies. Thank you, Farman. Uh, yes, would I, I would agree that uh, lithium-based bodies are very uh, detrimental to the environment, and actually they're very expensive in the long run because of the damage that it can do. Our polymer-based uh, batteries. This capacitor and battery you combine them no? quick charge discharge and large energy is a battery will be friendlier to the environment because number one they're biodegradable you you can you can these are not very harmful to the environment in second you will need lesser amount of uh, of uh, of mechanical uh, uh, support for these batteries because the car itself can become the battery. What I mean by that is that you don't need a separate battery structure placed in the hood, under the hood of the car, but the entire structure of the car, okay, mainly the chassis of the car, can be the battery already itself. It's going to be cheaper. We are really hoping that our dream is not a sim simple uh, capacity, but a capacity that can be charged by solar energy. So as you uh, expose the car to the sun, then uh, it can be charged. We have already created a, uh, a prototype for that uh, solar capacity, but uh, we still a lot, need a lot more of research in order to make the dream come true. I like the Thank word. I like the word. It's called kapateri. <laughs> <laughs> Did you coin that word? Uh, First yeah, time but, I hear uh, in this. Uh... Uh, but many are already using that term, super uh, capacitor. So it's a um, hybrid of battery and uh, Super capacitor. I think it was uh, Dr. Kiroga who uh, coined that term. <laughs> Kapateri. More than a decade ago. A decade ago. How do we spell it? Kapateri. That term already now being used in many, many uh, publications. International updates. Uh, publication so it's already but, being but he was the first before one before uh, the 10 years <laughs> several years yes, ago yes, <laughs> yes before i read it in journals <laughs> we have already coined the term uh, and we agreed to call it a uh, kapateri. kapateri i like that word 
Okay. Are there any more questions from the audience? If not, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Manzanos, for thank the you. presentation. I know that uh, you have to leave right away for we some have a event. Engagement. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank, thank you. you everyone for okay. Thank you for inviting us. Thank okay. you so much. So our next, our third presenter is uh, from the De La Salle University uh, Integrated School. We have Miss Asia Bell Barroso, um, Francesca, Jim Shong, and Samantha Pamagnot, and Katrina Villafuerte. So is your video presentation already ready so we can play it? Good afternoon, everyone. I am Francesca Lim Shong, and I will be presenting our pre recorded presentation entitled Zeolite as an Additive in Human Hair Compost Evaluation on Plant Growth. 